Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Today I'm going to talk about these inclinometers you can buy for your motorhome or your four wheel drive. And what they can give you is the, um, what's the word, the pitching and rolling of your vehicle. So it gives you the angle if you're tilting forward or back or left to right. Now they're quite reasonably priced these units and I thought well it'd be nice to have one of these firstly to tell me if my van is level and secondly to give an indication of how steep the hills are I'm driving up because my van's not very powerful and I want a rough indication of what the van is capable of you know because sometimes the gradients are marked differently in the UK so what I can do, I can go up a steep hill, very briefly look at the gauge and say, oh, well, that's 30 degrees, or that's 20 degrees, and we can get up that, etc. So I bought one of these, and they vary from sort of £9 up to £30 for the same thing. They are backlit. This one arrived today, and first of all, um, it didn't give the correct reading front to back or left to right. I know it's got an adjustable base but you really need to calibrate these on where you're mounting it in the vehicle. Now you can calibrate these to a certain extent but there's no adjustment knobs anywhere you simply have to take the mechanism apart separate the gears to the weights and then readjust it which is what I've done here. And it's not easy because they're little mini mini circlips that hold it all together the case is clipped together so that's not too bad but uh, yeah very do I'll try and get I'll get take it apart again and I'll show you what I'm referring to now then to get the case off the top it's just clipped on it's not difficult to get it apart and then I'll turn it around I'll, there's the backlight the backlight for this is too bright as well you know so that's another thing I don't like about it All right, I don't you can see there's plastic gears and then there's weights there's a weight there hanging down and there and just there on this one there's a little circlip and on one there you circle it and you unclip those and then you can take the front off just drops in and then you can uh, you can see there's a weight there that swings back and forwards that way and there's a weight there which swings back and forwards and you have to remove the circlips and then just turn these dials around till it reads horizontal you know the um, front to back angle and I've done it with this but to be honest um, they're a bit poorly made and um, the gears rattle as well so if you're driving you might get a rattle if it's on your dashboard from it. Uh, the backlight is too bright for my liking and uh, yeah so my advice is you're going to buy one of these I wouldn't bother. Uh, I've not actually fitted it in the vehicle or tried it yet but it's very very poor quality made. You know, so it's up to you if you get one. It's a bit of fun, more than anything, really. Um, you spend your money, and this is what you get, sort of thing. You can get digital versions, which are in the seventeen, eighty pound bracket. That's not worth spending that amount of money on something like this. Uh, the other thing is, of all the the shafts as well so they actually work a bit better and all it is is weights that dangle on a gear and um, yeah as, as they you know you go left and right you can see the weight move and it gives you and you go front and back and that one moves it's a rough indication I suppose but it's not worth the money so my advice is don't bother with one of these so thanks for watching this little video.